I am at Costco for grocery haul number four of this year and I'm getting ready to head inside. I am by myself, kid free, yay. And I'm going to three stores today. We're doing Costco, we're doing Kroger, and we're doing Aldi's, not exactly in that order. <laughs> Um, but I'm kind of on a time crunch tonight because it's a Friday night. Costco closes at 830. It's seven o'clock now and Aldi closes at nine o'clock. And I think that's exactly the time I'm going to need to get through all this. So here we go. Six count of avocados for $6.59. That Brussels sprouts for $4.99. $3.99. All time favorite holy guacamole mini cups for $13.99. I'm gonna give this organic hummus mini cups a try and they are $6.59. Mm. Time to stock up on baby wipes. 900 count for $19.99. Also are gonna need some toilet paper, which is $16.99 for 30 rolls. And then we'll also get some paper towels, which are $17.99 as well. So both kids are in the same size diapers now, which is crazy, a 10 month old and a two month old. So it's almost worth it to go ahead and get this huge box of diapers because it is on sale, $28.49. On the Ibotta app, there is a $2 rebate for Cascade, so I got this at Costco for $8.99, and it's a huge container, 125 ounces, so it should last us a while. I'm excited about this. I was gonna get these plugins at Kroger, but there's actually one extra one for the same price, $11.39. Large pack of string cheese is $9.89, yum. These string cheeses are just so easy to throw in the pack into the kids' lunches. So awesomely convenient. We're running low, so I'm just gonna stock up while we're here. Double bag of mozzarella cheese for $9.89. Huge tub of sour cream for the husband who's still doing keto, only $4.39. This is three cartons, three cartons of almond milk for $8.99. Packs of cream cheese, six to eight ounce packages for $6.89. For my morning smoothies, I'm gonna try the mango chunks. Five pound bag for $8.99. I don't wanna forget the bag of frozen strawberries. It is $9.59. One of the kids must have snacks or these animal crackers. We go through this entire container pretty quickly, um, but this goes towards their $50 limit for snacks. So this is $9.99. These amazing Italian style meatballs. 96 ounces, six pound bag for $16.99. We're going for the 10 pound bag of chicken and it's a little bit more than I thought. I was estimating 20, but we'll go with it. It's $22.49 for 10 pounds. The Honey Nut Cheerios, $7.95. I think there's two bags in here. A two count of log cabin syrup for $6.99 and these are going to go with our awesome Kodiak pancakes and waffle mix that I still have from last month's haul. So they have this two pound thing of local honey for only $9 so I'm going to go with that and did you guys know that if you eat your local honey it helps with allergies, seasonal allergies? Just a tip I thought I'd share. I learned it from my mama. Go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and stock up on the hazelnut spread, much like Nutella. Two huge containers for $7.99. For the convenience, we're gonna go with these 12 cups of macaroni and cheese for $6.99 for the kids' lunches. I also grabbed this organic olive oil, basil, and garlic marinara sauce for the pasta that I also got. Pasta was $8.99 and it comes with six bags of three different kinds of noodles. And then it was $8.99 for the four jars of marinara. For the kids' lunches and sandwiches, we're gonna do two loaves of the Sweebles Giant Bread for $2.99. So we planned for two boxes of the protein bars at $17.99 a piece. So a couple dollars less than I expected, so we're saving a little bit, but we're still going with two boxes, so that's 40 pounds of 
several Kirkland brand protein bars, which if you've never tried them are so good. Okay, so the kids, the kids didn't give me an idea of what they wanted for snacks, so I'm going with a box of these for lunches for $9.99. I'm gonna go with a box of all of this variety pack for $9.99, and then we're gonna head down there and get some more gummy bears, which lasted us three months. So we're gonna stock up on that and maybe, maybe some granola bars. Okay guys, I gotta even back up, but here is the cart, nice and full of everything. It is eight o'clock, so I'm getting here, out of here right on time. So let's see if I was able to stay within budget. I'm gonna have to work some numbers that were a little different and see. The trunk could not be any more full. There is so much in the back of this car and even more in the back seat back there. And we still have two more stores to go to. But let's go over the budget and just see how I did. Okay, y'all, um, I have the overhead light on in my car because it's getting dark out, but I just finished at Costco. The trunk is loaded, as you saw, and it's time to go over budget, and I'm nervous to tell you guys that I went over, but not much, but a little bit. I'm not really sure why, but we'll figure it out together. So keep in mind that some of the things that I plan to get at Aldi and Kroger actually ended up being cheaper here um, or more convenient here. So about $40 of what I was going to spend elsewhere, I actually spent here. So that's why it's going to be a little bit more, but then I'm still trying to figure out where I'm missing some money. So let me show you what I mean. So as you can see by looking at my list, I had a lot of modifications in prices where I was estimating either too high or too low. And then there was a few things that I added that I got to cross off from the other stores because I ended up getting here. And then there was things that I added that I don't know why I missed on my grocery list, but I know we needed it in my head. So for some reason it wasn't on the list, so it wasn't added into my estimated total before I got here. So, um, I was estimating 358 when I left the house and then ended up checking out all of these, um, or not checking out, but I ended up changing some of these estimates. So I recalculated everything before checkout and was estimating about $412. And remember I moved a lot of things from the other stores over to this store and ended up buying them at Costco. So that's why it's up quite a bit. Um, but even with estimating of 412, I still spent 437 even. So I'm over budget at Costco. At least we still have to go to Aldi's and Kroger. So I'm going to try to be a little bit better there and hopefully we can just stay within our means of the total but some of this total included a fresh produce that is included in my $35 a week estimate so that could be it so some of the things that I bought in Costco are things that I was going to need to get in fresh produce and in miscellaneous so I'm gonna have to divide everything up when I get home to see which items were miscellaneous which were fresh produce and which were actually um you know stuff that's gonna last the whole month in the pantry and the fridge and the freezer um because we have we have different budgets for all three of those categories so i know this 412 isn't or this 437 i mean is not over budget technically yet um when it comes to the grocery haul budget that we have of 450 this month in total so um, let's head off to Aldi they close in about 45 minutes so I got to get there um, I'm gonna try to get some gas here because it never fails that I'm really close to you when I'm at Costco but you save a lot using your Costco card as well as cash back on gas so I'm gonna do that and then we'll head to Kroger they're open 24 hours so we can just hang out there for a while all right Aldi here we go getting our fresh produce and some other good yummies Silly me, just kidding, I forgot all my bags. You gotta have your own bags when you go to Aldi. That is very important to know. It is a good tip and trick. If you're gonna shop at Aldi, you bring your own bags because they don't have bags. And then you also bring a quarter because you need a quarter to get a cart. Don't forget that either. Another tip and trick. Someone was nice enough to give me their cart and I didn't even have to give them their quarter. So there I go, I saved a quarter. Just kidding, you always get your quarter back, but that was just really nice. Going with a packet of asparagus for $1.89. Pack of 
baby spinach leaves for $1.19. I'm gonna do some Fiji apples to go with snack time with some peanut butter. I'm gonna get a little pack of grape tomatoes for my salads at $1.79. And then just a couple regular tomatoes for $1.59. They look so juicy, yum. Gallon of milk. The baby's now on milk instead of formula, so we're gonna do a gallon for this week of a dollar for a dollar thirty-five. Oh wait, no, we need whole milk. <laughs> whole milk, a dollar thirty-five. We have these fit and active 100% whole wheat flour tortillas for a dollar thirty-nine. I'm gonna go ahead and get two, and then I can just freeze the other one. A container of grape jelly for a dollar twenty-nine. To keep the budget low, I'm gonna try this men's three in one body wash shampoo and conditioner for my husband instead at $2.94 because what we usually get is like nine bucks. So, Ocean Charge or Citrus Rush? Mm, I say Ocean Charge. Oops. Oh, wait, is that? Oh no, this is the three in one shampoo and body wash. So, citrus it is. These oatmeal packets have been really convenient and easy for the kids in the morning and kind of shows helps with a little bit of independence with my daughter. So I'm going to go ahead and get two of these at $2.29 each. We're going to go with apple cinnamon and the maple spice. And again, for convenience for lunches, I like to get these cans of fruit to just throw in Tupperware and send with the kids. Um, peach slices, mandarin oranges, again, pear slices, they're 85 cents. And yes, I take them out of the container and put them in Tupperware, so it seems like I'm a good mom who cuts real fruit. 89 cents for some Dijon mustard, which I'm gonna be using for a salad dressing that I'm making. So 89 cents for Dijon mustard for salad dressing. Yum, yum, yum. They have these really good organic salad dressings, and with these organic salad dressings, I'm going to get a few of them at $1.99 because I'm making a lot of salads during my Advocare Slim and Trim or and 24 day jumpstart. So I'm gonna go with the oil and vinegar. And then look, there's Chipotle Ranch, there's Thai coconut, they have a poppy seed, they have Greek Kalamata, Ranch raspberry vinaigrette, which is actually one of my faves. I'm probably gonna get that one. I've heard that dried mangoes are really good, and I've never had them, but they only sell them in huge bags at Costco. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this bag of mangoes, six ounces for $3.69, which I don't know is a really good deal, but I'm just gonna try it and snack on it on the way home. Some mandarin oranges, um, a bag of those for $2.29, a bag of limes for $1.79. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six in the bag. Got about six bananas for 44 cents. Six bananas for 44 cents. 49 cents for canned vegetables. I got some canned peas and canned green beans for the baby. And just a little bit of Parmesan cheese for one of my recipes. And this is 229 for a eight ounce container. I I was going to get these dried cranberries for my salads because it's on my list, but look how much sugar. Yuck. We'll look at Kroger instead. That's horrific. And a dollar forty-nine for a bag of onions. And some delicious delicious sliced mushrooms for a dollar forty-nine for eight ounces, which I can't wait to saute up with some onions. Yeah. I've been saying yum a lot, but I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I seriously just almost put diesel in my minivan. I'm just getting so tired with this late night hauling that I am losing my mind a little bit. So, oops, I got it figured out just in time, but that blew up my car. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over the budget um, that we spent at Aldi. Um, keep in mind, there was some things that I couldn't get at Aldi that I am going to have to get at Kroger. So the prices or the estimate changed a little bit. So let me show you. And I wasn't kidding when I said I was going to snack on these dried mangoes while I was driving home. So while I'm getting my gas pumped, I have to tell you that these are so good. Like where have these been all my life? 
they're covered in sugar and that's probably why they're so good but even if they weren't I could snack on these for sure I need to find them without sugar somewhere probably Kroger maybe Trader Joe's we'll go there sometime so up here is our Aldi list. There were some things that I couldn't find that I'm gonna have to get at Kroger, like I said. So originally I had estimated $97, and that was before having, or getting a bunch of things at Costco that I had a plan to get at Aldi or Kroger. Um, so that dropped the price down to 67 after we left Costco. And then after not being able to find a few things that I needed at Aldi that I'll get at Kroger, it brought my estimated price down to $47 at Aldi. So looking at my receipt, I actually ended up spending $51.23 and I'm going to actually blame that on the few dollars that I had spent on my travel snack of dried mangoes so really I wasn't too far off budget we're actually headed into Kroger now to get the last few things and it is 9 25 at night and I am so ready to get home and go to bed but instead of but instead of going to bed I still have to put all these groceries away and so it's gonna be it's gonna be a long night but you guys are in for it with me so I'm glad I could do it all right, let's head into Kroger and have some fun. All right, here we are in Kroger, y'all, and I am freezing. It is so cold in here. So the first thing on our list at Kroger is some cereal. I'm gonna go with the s'mores for $3.49. And this is a one pound bag of s'mores. A little bit cheaper than buying the boxes. So dried cranberries, $3.29 for this nine ounce bag with 50% less sugar. So it's still sugar, but it works. Low sodium rice cakes for $1.49. Two ounces of Tabasco sauce for $1.99. And I got my hubby. He really wanted the Marzetti blue cheese dressing, but they didn't have it, so I'm going with Kroger brand today, but this was $1.99. Going with some pure olive oil, 33.8 um, fluid, out, fluid ounces, or one quart for $5.89. And then we get two of this Greek God's Greek yogurt, and I got a honey flavor, which I know we love, and then we're gonna try the maple flavor this month instead. We need some hand sanitizer, and they're $1.19 for the Kroger brand in coconut water scented. That sounds really good. So let's go with, I'm gonna go with one of each of these three, because I budgeted about $4. And then we need some floss picks. I keep them in my car. You all should be flossing, says the hygienist. And I'm really picky about what I use, and I like the Glide Oral B, so there's 75 floss picks for $2.99. And you know what? As picky as I am, I think I'm gonna go with the gum brand, which has 90 of them for $2.99. They're okay. Hopefully they don't break in between my teeth. We'll see. I needed scrubbies for the uh, kitchen, and they're on sale for $2.50, so I'm gonna get two of these. This Marzetti pizza sauce is 14 ounces. 14 ounces for $2.19. My husband uses this for keto for his keto pizzas. And lastly, these are the only pepperonis I could find. I wandered around aisles forever, but Mama Mary's gourmet pepperonis for $3.49. And now, we go check out. Okay, we are now leaving Kroger and going home. My car is so, you can't even see it because it's dark. It's literally 9.30 at night, 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. So I've got everything on the list. We just finished at Kroger and after adjusting everything on my list from, you know, different stores, I was estimating originally 64, but now with all the changes, it was down to 42. So estimate 42, that's backwards to you, I think. But, um, and then in the end, I ended up spending 46. So a little off, but close. So I'm gonna go home. I'm going to download my receipts to the Ibotta app after I get all these groceries put away, and I'm gonna show you the total that I spent in everything in each category, groceries, miscellaneous, 
um, in fresh produce and then show you what I was able to save with the Ibotta app. So never forget to download your grocery receipt to the Ibotta app to get some rebates on some different foods. And if you plan ahead and look at the Ibotta app before you go to the store, you can kind of plan around that too. So just a heads up, I'll go ahead and add the um, code that you can use to get $10 back after you use your Ibotta app first. And it helps me get a little bit of money too, which in the end I cash out and spend a target on clothes and things that I need or the kids need. So it's totally worth it. All right, haulers. It's a new day because last night I was just so tired that I couldn't even, I couldn't even do math to go over the numbers with you. So it is the next day from the grocery haul. This morning I had the most beautiful, fun bridal shower for my one of my bestest friends. Um, and now I'm home and things are a little settled down. So I'm gonna go over this budget with you real quick. So let me show you the total of everything. And just a quick reminder, this month's, um, this month's budget was $4.50 for the monthly haul of everything for the pantry, freezer, and a fridge. And then we usually set a budget of about $35 for fresh produce for the week. And then I try to do miscellaneous items, body wash, razor, stuff like that for $75 of the week. So let's take a quick look. So these are my three receipts, Costco, Aldi, and Kroger. And what I do when I get home is download everything to I the Ibotta app. Again, I'll go ahead and put the code to save you guys $10 on your first receipt upload. But I upload these to find out how much I saved on Ibotta. You get money back for buying certain items on their list. This month I got back $6.00. And then after that, what I do is I go ahead and highlight things in different colors for different items. So everything in pink is highlighted as miscellaneous items that we needed for the month. And then everything in yellow is the fresh produce for the week that goes towards our weekly budget. And then everything that's not highlighted is things for the whole month that we keep in the freezer, pantry, or fridge. I then take that total and just start doodling. So don't mind my mess, but this is on the back of my um, grocery list. So I added up the total for the monthly haul of everything. I spent a total of 386 and remember the budget was 450. So hoorah for that. Um, then on miscellaneous, which I think I spelled wrong, so don't judge. I spent 121 and reminder, the budget was only 75. So yes, I went over on that budget, but because I was so low on this budget, it all equaled out to be below budget of what I planned. Weekly fresh produce was a plan for $35 and we spent $27 and 17 cents and saved $6 on the Ibotta app from the total. And so this doodling over here is just showing that I had a budget of $4.50, but only spent $3.86 on the month stuff. So I had an extra $64. But over here, I spent $121 on miscellaneous and meant to only spend $75, which meant I had $46 dollars more than what I was supposed to spend but because I spent 64 less on the monthly stuff I had that to carry over to the miscellaneous which means I still was under budget so the total budget with the 450 for the month the 75 for miscellaneous and the 35 for the weekly produce I had a budget of $560 and in total spent $534.30 so that's it. I was under budget for this month and that's including everything that we're going to need until next week when we have to just go back and get maybe cilantro and milk and that's it because I got everything for our um for our groceries for the next 2 weeks for the weeklies. Um so I'm under budget a whole lot. A whole lot this month and couldn't be more proud. And I just want to give a shout out to one of my friends, Megan, who went on her first grocery haul today, her first monthly grocery haul, and she killed it, guys. She hit up Aldi for her first time, although she was a little overwhelmed by the experience because it's so much different than Kroger or anywhere else that you shop. She spent 
little to nothing. So her budget is gonna be like $300 for the month and that's all she's gonna need to spend for her family. And I'm just so proud of her because this is kind of overwhelming at first to like plan your whole meals for the month and do this whole big thing. But she, she took it on and she killed it and she's probably going to have huge success for the future. So kudos to you, Megan. I see you there, girl. I see you. All right, so guys, we have some guests coming over for the day to hang out. It's beautiful outside. It's like 65, almost 70 degrees here in Ohio. The sun's shining. I want to go put some shorts on and go enjoy the sun. So you guys have a good day. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave some comments for me. And I will see you guys next month. Good luck on your hauls.